<laughs> we got it running, obviously, as you saw. And uh, we got oil pressure's good, fuel pressure's good, everything's great. The only problem is the sim unit's only reading, well, that's it reading right now. Fuel pressure is up there, fuel level is reading about a half a tank. That's funny because this is a 21 gallon tank and there's only four gallons of diesel in it. So that means our sending unit is having a problem. So what we're gonna do, instead of ripping the dash back out, take the gauges out, because that's what we're gonna have to do, is we're going to um, take the sending unit out. Now there's only one problem with that. The problem is, is to get the sending unit out, you have to lift the entire body of this car off. And we are not about to do that. So instead of lifting the body off, because the gas tank only comes out from the top of the frame, which I admit was <laughs> kind of dumb, but it was we were we were doing it in a hurry, okay? Hey, Paul. All right, that I had to, because I didn't have time to make brackets. But that was for Cletus and cars like uh, last year. So uh, why that stayed that way, I have no idea. That was all Cole's idea. I didn't work here a year ago. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It's still your idea. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna cut a hole in the beautiful beaded panel of the trunk and go from there. By the way, all this white stuff in here is um, the rust etch prep stuff that we use. It kind of made a little bit of a mess and got a lot of cleaning to do, but that was all Mason right there. Right here is where I need to make a hole. Now, when I say hole, I mean this big of a hole so i'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then and then make a plate that has beads in it to bolt back into the position where you you know you you can't even tell but what it'll do is allow access in case that ever needs to come back out again it can come right out and there will be no problems It'll be super easy to do this dot right here is the center of that uh sending that's sitting on top of the tank what i'm going to do is make a plate that has those beads in it and that thing will just sit right down inside those beads and look normal, hopefully. It should come out pretty good.
got these too. This is gonna get full of mud. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get full of mud. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we just didn't have time to do this time around. That's a lot to do in that amount of time. It really is. So this is another build that we have going on. While we're waiting on uh, Matt to get here. Got a 59 Caddy. This thing is going on um, a roaster shop chassis here. Wish the guys are putting together right now. This one's bagged. Also have green, yellow, blue. I think, it, I think I like green more. Do you like green more? I don't know. Let's try green. Hold on. <laughs> There's your colors. I'm going purple. That looks good too. And you can also dim the light too. <laughs> so if it's on a color, all you got to do is. Oh, fade just makes it go between all the colors. Yeah, and then if you're on a color, you can actually do up and down to uh. make it brighter or, or less. Got the flashers on. <laughs> that's, that's I'm gonna pull good. people over in this thing. And you know they're gonna pull over too. Well, right pull. <laughs> if they don't, I'm gonna ram them. <laughs> well, you got your little bumper to do with. Yep, just that little baby bumper. Gotta hit them right in the center. These are some nice seat covers. Trust me, that's a lot better than what was on there. Yeah, I saw them. Oh, by the way, there is no safety neutral switch in this. I'm used to that. None of my cars have that. Okay, good. <laughs> How'd you like your first test drive? That was great. That was amazing. Uh, she got some get up and go too, even yeah. without being like tuned right. Your heart pumping yet or what? No, that was, that was light work. Really? I mean, I have never touched it like that. That's really <laughs> They don't call me Demolition Ranch for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you, well, I'm not gonna explain it. Actually, Matt's gonna explain it, the, uh, the future of the car. Well, we're gonna get a helicopter and take it way up in the air and then drop it and see if it lifts. It'll be epic. No, uh, so the plan is I wanted to get it in like in like the 50% build stage like this, where it's a car, but it's not it's not nice because I want to do a bunch of fun stuff with it that I I know that 
I won't want to do when it's nice. Some some simple things like mudding and tug of wars and things like that. I'll throw rocks all over a brand new paint job, it's gonna be really sad. And so I want to do all the off-roading, all the mudding, all the rock climbing, all that kind of stuff, dragging stuff through ponds with it while there's not a really nice expensive interior and paint job on it. We gotta find all the weak links too. Like this is this is uh, thrown together by some people who don't know what they're doing. <coughs> Brandon. <coughs> it's Tony. Tony. <laughs> no, but there's a ton of new stuff and so we, we don't know like, I'm probably gonna break some things. It'd be nice to break all those, figure out all the things and then we send it back in for the final build uh, once we have all the kinks worked out. That's my plan anyway. We'll see, I might, I might actually total it. And we'll start over oh, from scratch. Yeah. When it comes back in, it's going to get rotisserie, so it's going to, you know, turn 360 degrees so we can get the bottom of it. That's why there's still a little bit of rust spots on the bottom of the car. And then go ahead and take care of the frame, smooth it all out, paint it, and then go with whatever color matte wants to do. God, black looks so good though, right? It really does, man. I mean, the thing looks incredible. I mean, what do, what do your what do your viewers say? Because mine are all like, it does look sick in black. Right? I have a lot that, that are really with the whole green idea. Green, that's what I wanted. The green, yeah. Until I saw it in black, it just looks mean. But maybe, maybe that's just, you know, first stage is the, you know, the black primered look. And then the next stage we go really nice and get that beautiful green. Cause green with those green lights glowing. Oh look. my God. Yeah. We were also talking about just now doing renderings. Yeah, it'd be good to see the different colors. And yeah, stuff. I think it's a good idea. And bumpers that are the right size for the car. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> you could literally just take those six bolts out and take the bumper off your uh, first gen Dodge over there and stick it right on the front of this. Well, that's perfect because we're actually, this has never met my first gen Dodge, but it's at Holden Bros and we got to go over there anyway. Oh, so they'll yeah. meet for the first time. Good my idea. two first gens are going to meet each other. One's adopted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Tony and I just got done with lunch with Matt. We're headed over to uh, Holden Brothers right now. God, look at that thing, man. Kuda's home for the next 15 months. 15 months. What's up, dude? Hey! How are you? Oh, I'm just giving myself a little manicure. Well, you need it. Yeah, thanks. Oh, you? They're a little... Oh, yeah, they're, those yeah, they're, they're nasty. You put a little polish on that? Um, every now and then. Right up. What's when up, nobody's dude? watching. What's up, bro? Huh? If no one... What? What? <laughs> <laughs>
have to redo this spot here and this spot and that spot and all these. That'll be the next thing to do is plate this over. Yep. That means all this stuff's got to come off. It's okay. I wanted to show you guys something really cool. I wanted to show you all together. So you all can be really excited by this. Okay, okay. Open her up. Open her up. We got to install at least one of these today. Look how good it looks. Dude. Oh, man. That looks good. That, that is what's up. That's a billet. That. It's all billet. That's sexy. One for each front fender and then one for the back of the car. Oh, that looks good. Look that at is that. what's up. Yeah. That dude at Moonlight Fab. Is that who this He's is? a fan. Yeah. Oh, yep, he did the intake plenum on this 12 valve motor and he did the tappet cover on this and now these sick emblems. Yeah, he came out to Florida. I think it was Florida. I met him at a Cletus in cars and he gave these to me. I, I have this same mentality where all the hoses, I don't care if the sun is shining and the shadow lays on it, the shadow needs to be even with the body line. So I was just poking my head through the fender. Steven actually came and got me. He was like, bro, check this out. Dude, the picture framing of that with the bead roll and the even oh, you reveal, like that part? bro. <laughs> yeah. If well. I wasn't already married with kids, I would marry you and make you have my children. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here's the thing: is this is supposed to have a cover on it? I don't. Okay. But I don't know if we're gonna do that. I mean, it does look cool like that. It, it looks. It looks very. Good. Maybe. Maybe you make one, and maybe it goes on. Maybe it doesn't. But still, I know there's a lot of people that give a hard time about how long it takes to build something clean. I know you've dealt with all of that kind of stuff even <laughs> from, your, hey, from your customer or outside people but everybody who's listening to this right now understand this you can't build badass stuff quick it doesn't work that way yeah because you build it two or three times there's no emotional support there's no support from anybody a lot of times you're up till midnight one o'clock doing what you can to be proud of what you're doing and so if no one else says it you deserve a lot of credit, dude, because this car is built really, really well. Just wanted to say it. Uh, Get out of my shop and never come back. Dude, I appreciate it, man. Hey, dude, Thanks. straight up. Thanks a lot. You did a great job, Tony. Thanks. For real, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. It, it Matt, come here. Hey, I'm going to be there to emotionally support you forever. <laughs> okay, man. Thanks a lot. It takes a lot of effort, dude. Yeah. It does. It does. It takes Tony. a lot of effort to do it right. This is great on uh, part one of this build, and now we're all ready on part two, rebuilding the intercooler. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> when does part two officially start? Whenever you want. When are we going to make it classy? I think I need to, I'm, I'm gonna find all the weak spots. Yeah, I, I know that. We already found a couple. Yeah, well, uh, part two starts whenever you want. All right. That's it, so go beat the piss out of it and see what it'll take. Carefully though. And we already saw kind of what it took out there. We're gonna, Which is really crazy. All the piss got beat out very quickly. Yeah, yeah. it did. And it, it didn't have, it just pissed a little bit. A little yeah, early. this is from the T case. Yeah. That's, it was breathing really hard. That's a testament to a lot of stuff too. That it got shredded. That's the first time out, first time on the red line. That was 5,000 RPM. Yeah. And we've got a wee little bit of some gear all on the ground. That I was, think it's wind. That was the first time it went above 10 miles an hour. Yeah. And I stayed on red line for like five seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was hard yeah, man. It, it was hard ridden. All right, Matt. I appreciate it, man. Dude, I appreciate it. Look at that yeah. thing. Oh, no. She's a mean machine. I know. It actually I did. broke I broke less than I thought I would break. You so, did. So that was you good. Did. All in all, successful day. Well, we're heading back to the shop, man. Later. We'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Round two coming up. Obviously back at the shop now. Fun time. Great stuff. Blown intercooler. But but it's it's, it's a way to learn, you know what I mean? Steven and Willie over there at Holden Brothers Diesel was saying that, you know, the thing is most likely pushing like 65 on the low side, but floored to the max, pushing, you know, 4,500, 5,000 RPMs. The, it, the, the cooler without any straps or whatever you want to call it, lasted two and a half runs. That's, I'd say that's pretty good at that much boost. But now we're going to, we're going to uh, bulletproof the whole thing. Lots and lots of aluminum, <laughs> just layers and layers. This first stage of the demo build has gone very good. It was very fun. And we all thank you guys very much for tuning in and Absolutely. watching us. So she will be back. Yes, there will be a video of fixing the intercooler. But the bad part is um, I have to go and get it. 
and it's and it's packed down in layers and layers of barracuda. That means that the car's gonna come back apart again for the hundredth time. So yeah. Hmm. That's gonna suck. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Alright. I love you. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>